Hi, in this video I will show you how to populate your scenes in 3ds Max quick and easy. So there are no third party plugins needed, just the native tools. I have prepared here some 3D models that I will be using in this project. And I have turned them into proxies for scene optimization. If you are not familiar with proxies, you can check out our video on the topic. So with this object paint tool, you are able to use all kinds of objects, not just geometry, but also lights, cameras and helpers as well. So to show you how to use uh, this tool, I'll start by uh, populating some trees on our uh, project. So we start first by selecting all of the trees that I want to use, then go to the ribbon and open it, then select object paint to open the object paint panel and the brush settings panel. So wh while we are selecting uh, the objects, we can go here to the list and press add selected to add all of the selected items to our list to be used. So what we can do is we can randomize the offset here, the rotation and the scale. At the moment it's fixed to even uh, scale the, the object so we can go to random and specify uh, the numbers between which we want to uh, scale our object so I'll so I'll type here 50 as a lower limit and like 170 as a upper limit for the scale for the rotation I'll randomize it on the Z so we press here on the down arrow and check the checkbox random Z we can also uh, type here some kind of offset that we want to use in our project. I'll type here like 5, 5, 5, for example. Okay, so we have selected our objects and we have uh, adjusted the brush settings and added them to the list so they are ready to paint. Uh, so there are several ways to go forward. We can, from hit this drop-down menu, we can specify uh, between paint with the selected objects. So we select one object or many objects and we paint randomly with them. Or we can just press here and use the objects in the list. And from here we can specify just one the uppermost proxy in the list or all in order one after the other or to be randomly I prefer the randomly so we can have a much nicer result and not so predictable uh, but if you want to paint specific tree on a specific location you can choose it from here and just open the list and just move one or the other proxy up or down uh, ok from here you can specify where to paint uh, the objects so it can be uh, on the grid which is the uh, grid of the scene so it will be like uh, on a on a zero on the z-axis uh, disregarding all of the objects in the scene you can also use uh, selected objects will be which will be you select one uh, object in your scene and you paint on it with the objects in your list and the third option is to paint on the scene which is uh, painting on all of the objects but it, there sh you should be very careful 
because uh, when pressing on uh, for example on a tree that you have already placed you can spawn another tree on top of it and it can be a bit messy so uh, I prefer to use the selected object uh, option so from here I use the selected objects and from here with the objects in the list so let's select first our ground plane let's go uh, here in standard mode we can also select this object object here and let's start painting some trees and it's as easy it, as it gets so we are just randomly placing trees and it's on the spot that we want we can of course just use the trees that we prefer from here we can determine also the spacing between the trees let's also adjust the lower limit for example to 80 to 140 it's real time so they are closer to each other I can scale them a bit bigger maybe so it's in real time you can adjust them not to uh, go back and have to redo everything again you can for example remove the offset so it's placed exactly on the spot that you want okay let's continue placing some more trees and then we'll go further okay I think that we are ready for the trees that are spawned like this I will fill up the, the other part of the scene with forest pack okay now let's uh, add some furniture so we can add po and populate our balconies and other spaces so let's go to our list and remove all of the trees here and now let's add some furniture I'll start uh, first by uh, placing the bigger objects and then I'll add the smaller ones so I'll go with this one and add them here to my list then I'll select the terraces that I'll be painting on we'll have to manually adjust it uh, after that it's just that I don't want to uh, scale them so here I'll leave it like 100 and also I don't need the rotation maybe I'll go with 90 here or minus 90 so it will be easier after that maybe on the smaller terraces I'll use more furniture okay I think I'm ready with this one so I'll have to a bit manually 
adjust them but they are placed on the exact floor so at least the harder part is done so I'll fast forward the video to show you how you can uh, easily add some other features as well like uh, the chairs, the tables and fill up the scene quite easy Ok, let me show you now how we can populate the scene furthermore with V-Ray lights. I have prepared here uh, some V-Ray white 1 meter by 1 meter. Let's select also here the floor. Let me turn off the glass layer and uh, select the floor. And let's isolate the, the white and the floor like this. So let's add it to our list, add selected and now select the object that we want to paint on, paint on selected object, ok and from here paint with objects in the list. To make it uh, the whites uh, be at the desired height, here we can specify the offset of the uh, paint area so when I click here and paint on the uh, level of the mm, floor I can uh, the the lamp will spawn like uh, the offset amount that I will specify here which will be 245 centimeters for example so also let's make some randomizations let's unlock the axis so uh, we'll make it like uh, for example from 70 to 120 will be enough and here the Z I'll leave it like this uh, I don't wanna make the, any rotation as it will be orthogonal like it should be so let's paint some lights and as you see they're at the desired height so I don't have to move them later on so like this I'm clicking in the rooms that I want to paint some whites and they're exactly at the spot that I want and they're randomly scaled so that it looks much realistic okay perfect and this is how easy it is to uh, set up the scene with lights and now what's left is to make the adjustments so that everything is perfect we have done the harder job which is to uh, place the objects at the right level at the right location so you don't have to eyeball it and uh, it's uh, easier to uh, make the composition now that it's uh, they are randomly distributed it's not uh, that you have to think of uh, which uh, chair where to put and uh, it's now uh, just uh, left to uh, adjust here and there the objects so that it uh, looks uh, natural so guys this is it uh, this is the process that I have used to populate my scene with uh, furniture, people, whites, the trees 
Uh, so we populate it like this and then some fine tuning to make uh, everything uh, in the right spot and in the right angle. If you did enjoy anything in this video then drop a like and a big thank you to everyone who does. If you haven't subscribed yet, click below and join us. We have some great videos coming up next that you don't wanna miss. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.